250 years of slavery, 100 years of Jim Crow, sharecropping, the Ku Klux Klan, lynchings, bombings, mass incarceration, the separation and destruction of the black family. All of that has had an effect on our mind. Our mind needs to be decolonized. We today are experiencing mental slavery, not physical slavery as once our ancestors had to endure. In my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, we take you through every step to start releasing the chains that's on your mind. He or she who controls the mind, control the person. It is in a vested interest of the white supremacist system to keep your mind bogged down in a mental slavery, throwing entertainment, throwing drugs, throwing alcohol, anything they can at you to keep you bogged down. You got to free yourself from mental slavery. By purchasing our book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind today on Amazon. Make sure you share it with your family, share it with your friends. Everyone can benefit from decolonizing the mind because once your mind is decolonized, you will never be put to sleep again. There were some photos that was released online from a engagement photo shoot for a man and a woman that's getting married. Now, people do that all the time. Some people may be like, well, what's the problem with that? Well, it is a major issue because people are saying WTF about the pictures that we're going to show you. So let's look at the first picture. We're going to look at this together. So you see this um, brother and this woman here. Um, it, you see the post says 1842 days passed and everything changed. Our love got stronger and stronger. He was no longer a slave. He was part of the family. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, this black man took place in a photo shoot for slavery. I know his ancestors are probably like, we died for this crap. Let's look at the next picture. You see him here, you know, he, he actually got shackles on, on his hands and, you know, Miss Ann over here, you know, just overlooking um, her, her, her man, or at the time would be, um, her buck. Cause a lot of these men, if you know about the history of that, they had to sleep with the white woman. They had to, and if they did not sleep with the white woman, she would just say, well, if you don't sleep with me, I'm gonna say you raped or trying to rape me and they get you lynched. So they had no choice, even if they had wives. Now in this next picture, as you can see here, you know, she's trying to, um, I guess take the, the chains off of, you know, her slave, um, that's supposed to be joining the family. And, and on this last picture here, you know, um, she, I guess she fully didn't take it off. You know, he's kissing her hand and all of that. She's smiling and in, in, in blissful glee, um, with these pictures. Now also, you know, you have a lot of them want to get married at plantations. We talking about um, you know, Becky's crowd here, you know, a lot of them want to get married at those old slave plantations in Louisiana. I don't know no black person that want to go to these slavery plantations in Louisiana and say, you know what? I want to get married there because it's too much pain and trauma and, and the spirits of our ancestors, you know, in, in, on that land should be respected. That's how we look at it. But they look at it as a time that that was just beautiful for them. I mean, listen, Negroes were subjugated. Negroes knew their place. They did whatever we wanted them to do with no mouth, no lip, no nothing. That, I mean, you know, you have to understand that's a wet dream for a lot of them. That's why they were talking about make America great again. Cause it was great when, when, when they was, you know, just being lazy, not doing crap and black people doing everything for them. You understand? But let's talk about, you know, the issue, you know, with this man here, we have a group of black people that, if they had a choice, they would go back on the plantation. When we say that two thirds of black folks globally will not make it, this is what we mean. This is an example of what we mean. They are too far gone. This man loves, you know, this woman more than life itself and anything attached to her. 
You have that with the men. You also will have that with the women. You understand? You have the most depraved thing that can happen, you know, even to our sisters, like when a lot of men was talking about the ghetto gagger thing, right? That was the most depraved thing ever being done to black women. Black men would never get away of doing that depraved thing to black women. And why do we want to do something like that? But you will let them do the most ungodly thing to you. You will let them disrespect you. You sitting up here and, and you, you talking about him with well, this, not just him. It's, it's the Candace Owens and, and all that crowd those black folks that just want to shuck and jive and, and, and want to kiss masses uh, ring and hand and anything else. I am not surprised by these pictures because I know a lot of you. I know you, I know what you're capable of. I know how much, you love the Mzungu. You do. And especially when you love Mzungu Jesus. I know that. Trust me, I know. Does, let's say these pictures don't, just don't surprise me at all. What about the um, Ancestry commercial? That they had the, the trying to romance slavery and try to say the white man telling the, the black woman, oh, I just want, you know, we got to marry you and help you escape to, to the north because of our love. And a black woman actually participated in that to get paid instead of having some dignity and self-respect. You don't see Jewish people playing about the Holocaust, do you? They don't play with that. But when it comes to us as black folk, we have that old, we have a slave gene. I call it a slave gene. You may call it self-hate, but it's a gene because this been going on since the slavery times. You know, his ancestors, was the one, this guy here, that wanted to stay on the plantation. You know, after they say, hey, you gotta get off the plantations now, you gotta go. His ancestors would say, Massa, I don't wanna go nowhere, I wanna stay with you. That's his ancestors. That's the only two, you either had ancestors that wanted to stay on the plantation after they say you were free, or you had ancestors that say either they was escaping, or, or, or the ancestors were burning Massa's house down, uh, starting, you know, revolts. Or, or, or your ancestors, one of the people that say, hell yeah, I'm out of here. Thank God. I'm away from them. I'm away from these devil people. Oh my God. Thank you. That's it. Either you come from a spirit of, of, of a warrior or you come from a spirit of a coward and a bootlick. And let me tell you something. The, the, the spirit of a warrior travels in your lineage and the spirit of a cowardly bootlick travels in your lineage too. Or it travels because you cultivate it. And he thought that, man, I just want to do this to show my love to her. This is what she loves. Oh my God, I just want to reenact slavery. So this doesn't surprise me. And it shouldn't surprise you either. I'm glad he actually did it because you really need to know the condition of a lot of black folk. Globally too, I'm saying globally. Because let, let's say if it comes out, let's say if it comes out that you know, just saying if he's from another part of the world, right? It doesn't matter where he's from. The fact is that sickness is in America's, that sickness and that slave gene is in the Caribbean, is, is in a continent, and we have to break free of that. And the only way you can break free is having a knowledge of self. That's one of the first chapters in my new book, Seven Steps to Decolonizing the Mind. This man needs my book because he needs to decolonize his mind because he's completely colonized. He's completely on the plantation. Seriously, if I knew who this man was and his address, I will send him my book for free and say, listen, please read this so you can get free because if he read my book, he's not going to be with her no more. He's going to say, what the hell? And he want to burn them pictures and everything else. He'd be paying people to try to delete that off the internet. This is when your mind is completely colonized. When you are a slave in your mind, that's, this is when you're going to put pictures that, like this out and you're going to be cool with this. Now, some people will say, oh, well, he just because he with this white woman. No, not every person that's with somebody white is taking these kind of pictures. Stop with that. It, it's just not the truth. I'm about truth. I'm about just the reality that we living in here in America and throughout the world, right?
That's not that's not the norm. This this one is a it's a special case, but he's not the only one. He just chose to express it in this manner. But he's definitely not the only one. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular uh, picture here. I mean, this a set of pictures. Um, I hope you don't raise your kids um, like this, whoever you are out there. I'm talking about black parents. Uh, teach them to have a knowledge of self. Teach them. Because without a knowledge of self, you have no other choice but to take the identity that the white supremacists want you to live. Are you tired of the violence, tired of the injustice, police brutality, rampant discrimination, lack of gun control in this failed by a socioeconomic experiment called America? Or maybe you need a break from the relentless grind and want to regain control of your destiny, your wealth, your health, and your purpose. Diversifiedgame.com has the right course for you. Prepare for my first trip to Africa. Looking to reconnect with your roots, start a new business, or just a fresh start. Africa, AKA the motherland, is waiting. Don't let the Chinese and the Mazungus have the fun and also take over the motherland. From Cairo to Mombasa, from Dakar to Cape Town, Africa has something for everyone from business opportunities to the most amazing people, safety, leisure, and landscapes. The opportunities abound. It is time for the diaspora to reconnect with their roots. Time to reconnect with the birthplace of humanity. Africa is the last frontier. Get your head in the game and reclaim your legacy. The writing is on the wall. Babylon is falling. Give up the stress, grind and violence inflicted on our people on this continent and prepare for a journey of restoration and joy by connecting with the land of your ancestors. Check out our new course and kick off your adventure at diversifiedgame.com.